So we do with Zabdux TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Today we're going to be talking about Greninja EX, an upcoming very powerful EX from the Twilight Masquerade set. Twilight Masquerade actually releases on the 24th of May so in one month we will have access to these cards. So it's going to be fantastic to already take a look at some successful Japanese deck lists. We're going to be talking about winning lists, top 4 lists, top 8 lists, etc. So these are doing very well at city leagues so uh, we have to take a little bit of a look at how can you actually make a deck with Greninja EX and that's gonna be this video you're gonna get 20 successful deck lists all the way from Japan onto your screen right now if you guys are enjoying content like this let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button helps out ridiculously and only takes one tiny second of your time so I always appreciate it if you would do so and uh, before we get off with Greninja EX we're actually gonna be uh, of course showing the sponsors that make this video possible DragonShield.com for your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. You can get 5% off on everything on the website using the coupon ZABDOS5. There's YourPlayMat.com, link down below to create your own unique custom playmat. There's PotanStore.com for your TCG Live code card needs, 5% off using the coupon ZABDOSTCG. And CardMarket.com helps you out if you're a European player to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. You can use the referral name ZABDOSTCG. With that being said, Greninja EX is here. 1 retreat cost, weak to psychic, 310 HP for stage 2. It is a fighting type Pokemon which actually is super unique. That's going to be helping out, hitting weakness against some, something like an Iron Hands EX, an Arceus V-Star for example. So that's actually pretty neat to be a fighting type and uh, it does require a water type energy. So you're going to be seeing a whole plethora of decks using of course the ways you can power up the Greninja EX. It's first attack for just one single uh, uh, water type energy, you can actually slap 170 damage. That's kind of nuts. The power creep is getting there, 1 energy, 170, that's ridiculous. Already enough to 2 shot most threats in the format, all the EXs go down in 2 shots. Whether you're up against like a 340 HP or a 330 HP, it doesn't matter, 2 shotting uh, all the EXs in the format, which is awesome. Also you one shot Luminion V Squackability EX, which is actually very cool as a bonus with the Ninja Blade. But that is not where the attack stops, you can actually get yourself any card you want from the deck. How crazy is that? You attack, you get any card from the deck. I know your Iono, uh, yeah, your, the opponent probably gonna be using Iono after that attack, but they are forced to find Iono. If they don't have Iono, you have that card you have been looking for with Ninja Blade. Also, Duplicate Barrage is actually G Max Rapid Flow. If you've been playing with uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max before it rotated, it's the exact same thing. Discard two energies from this Pokemon, and then you uh, slap 120 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, yeah, don't count weakness and resistance for the bench Pokemon. There. It's also going to be stated on the card. I, I've, I've read the re Japanese uh, scan, uh, so this proxy uh, sh should have that text. But with that being said, 120 on two targets is very strong. If the opponent doesn't slap down Manaphy, you can upgrade very easily with Greninja. On top of that, you could be playing Greninja EX with some cancelling colognes. You can find them easily with Ninja Blade. So attach up the turn, Ninja Blade, Pata, 170 damage, and you uh, search your deck for, of course, either a double turbo energy or uh, a cancelling cologne. That's also a way you could be making Greninja EX work. So a very, very strong Pokemon. Low maintenance with a Ninja Blade, consistency getting any card you want. And the Duplicate Barrage allows you to take multiple prize cards, which is very, very, very strong. Let's say you go first, the opponent instantly needs to find uh, yeah, their mana. Otherwise, you can swoop the board with Duplicate Barrage if you have that DTE Rare Candy Greninja. So uh, yeah, need to be careful here. It's going to be uh, a meta deck for sure. With that being said, let's take a look at some Japanese deck lists right now. So uh, what can we see here is that this list is actually playing uh, with Pidgeot EX. Pidgeot actually is very interesting because uh, you can get any card you want. Also relies on rare candy and uh, with that being said there are some comeback Pokemon in here. You have the Luxray which you can slap down instantly if you're behind in prize cards. And with Reversal Energy you can start swinging with it right away. And the cool thing is with of course that Ninja Blade you can search out the missing piece. Whether you're looking for Reversal Energy or the Luxury itself. You can actually find everything with Ninja Blade which is super cool for sure. Also Luxury is a very formidable attacker in a format filled with Pidgeot EX. So uh, yeah be uh, taking a look at the horizon for uh, the Luxray. There's Blood Moon Ursaluna EX allowing you to slap. 240 damage and uh, yeah you need one energy less for every prize card the opponent has taken and it has a monstrous 260 HP. We talked about that card already before. If you're looking to uh, 
learn more about the uh, yeah cards from the Twilight Masquerade set. I did a top 20 best cards video. Be sure to check that video out if you haven't already after watching this one. So uh, heavily relying on Rotom for your setup. So pretty similar like uh, yeah Charizard Pidgeot, but instead of Charizard Pidgeot, we have Greninja as the main attacker. You do see the Cologne in here. So Cologne really helping out with that duplicate barrage, being able to take two prize cards and take advantage of it. Two counties of counter catcher and also because you're uh, relying on the unfair stamp, an ace pack card allowing you to put the opponent back to two cards while you get a fresh hand. Uh, it only works if the opponent knocked out something during their last turn, but still a very powerful card, which you can also fetch with Arvin, allowing you to put the opponent to a crippling two cards while you can just slap with Ninja Blade. If the opponent doesn't have ways to one shot Greninja EX, you can just easily outplay them. You can even go for something like the TM Devolution. There's Roxanne play. So lots of disruption as well with Eerie. And you can undo some prizing uh, with, of course, Professor Sturo scenario. If you're almost knocked out, just put it back in hand and uh, off you go. So very solid list to get yourself started. The following list has uh, also with the Pidget but it's uh, incorporating Manaphy as well as Jirachi. In the previous list, they did say uh, we don't need Manaphy and Jirachi. Uh, yeah, actually they had Manaphy, no Jirachi, okay. Definitely need Manaphy in this format because yeah, Radiant Greninja is still around, Greninja EX is around, uh, lots of sniping capabilities, so Manaphy, be sure to, of course, have <laughs> open room in your upcoming deck for uh, a Manaphy, unless you're playing uh, a big uh, basic Zex. So uh, what do we see here is they're playing Heroescape, a hero escape allows you to, of course, have 100 additional HP, and uh, that's gonna help a Greninja hit to two uh, 410 numbers with Professor Turo. That's actually pretty interesting. Also, some DTEs are in here for, of course, attach of the turn, and then Ninja Blade finding the DTE, and off you go. Also, Quick Search Pidget is able to find the DTE, and with Pidget, you can also fetch a uh, Constant Cologne or the uh, Counter Catcher. And Hand Summer also in here for mirror match situations. So. Uh, this is gonna be an archetype, folks. So uh, take a look at uh, Greninja EX. Following lists, uh, still playing the Pidget line, uh, but also incorporated a 2-2 line of Palkia V-Star. We already know Palkia V-Star is a very formidable attacker. Low maintenance, but with uh, the Star Portal, you can also put some water energies onto your Pokemon. So you can Star Portal onto a Froki and then Candy into, Gar uh, into a Greninja. So you can instantly go for a water duplicate. So uh, as soon as you have slapped down Palkia, and a Froakie, the opponent instantly needs to worry about the fact you could get that. Uh, even if you whiff the turn one energy, you can go still for the Star Portal to power up uh, a Froakie to then evolve into uh, Greninja EX and then boom out of nowhere, get that duplicate barrage going. So uh, also a Lost City in this list and uh, this list is playing four copies of Irida. So uh, working with Palkia and uh, Radiant Greninja together and also comes packed with a Prime Catcher. Next is... You might think, wow, what is this? Is this a binder drop or something? Well, uh, exactly. It's a 2-1-2 line of Charizard, a 2-0-2 line of Pidgeot EX, and a 3-1-3 line of uh, Greninja EX. You might think, what the hell is this binder drop? But it seems to be working out in Japan, getting a lot of top fours as well. So what does this mean? Stage twos are healthy again. The format is super nice indeed. Uh, the cool thing is, the only thing you need to get out early on is a ninja. A Greninja can then fetch out more candies with its ninja blade to, of course, get your setup established. You have Charizard for the mid to late game, but also could get some energies onto other Pokemon as well. You can get some fire energies onto any Pokemon you want. If you want to power up a Greninja with the duplicate barrage, with the power of an uh, yeah, infernal rain shenanigans of the Charizard. It is all possible. You're gonna be uh, yeah using that ability of Charizard to power up Greninja, and uh, off you go. So, also Hero Escape, giving you 100 additional HP. I don't know if that's the perfect ace pack for a deck like this because of the fact that I think Prime Catcher Cologne feels like a very strong combo with uh, the Duplicate Barrage. So there is that, and uh, I also uh, see here that this list is actually not playing any Radiant Pokemon. So you might incorporate something like a Radiant Charizard if you want to, as your one prize beat stick in the mid to late game. Uh, again, Lost City also part of this deck. So. Again, I'm not too keen on the Hero Escape, but this list also has an, e uh, an ex EXP share, helping out to, of course, get a water duplicates out, uh, a duplicate barrage out, out of nowhere. And also should notice that the uh, Froakie can also get some Pokemon into play uh, with its attack, which is cool. The following list has uh, Radiant Blastoise. If you discard a water energy from hand, you can actually snipe 20 damage. Sniping 20 damage on top of having the uh, Greninja with the Ninja Blade means that you sometimes can get away by knocking out basic EXs and stuff 
or even more important, you can knock out Rotom V with your Ninja Blade because of the uh, Radiant Blastoise. You can also work up some numbers here for the TM Devo strategy right there, but it seems to be uh, very cool. Also, Lake of Equity, uh, 20 last damage for everything that has a water type energy attached to it, and Enhanced Hammer for Mirror Match, Unfair Stamp, and the Blood Moon Ursa Luna also joining the party. As mentioned, if you don't know any of these cards, be sure to check out my top 20 best cards video of the Twilight Masquerade set. Moving forward, another list here incorporating Luxray, but more importantly, there's a 1-1 one, one line of Alolan Vulpix V-Star. We already know that Snow Mirage is a very strong attack. I played that at EOIC and uh, I was very uh, happy to, of course, get some additional championship points. And uh, the Vulpix is actually very, very strong. Some decks don't even have an answer for it. Everything with abilities cannot touch Alolan Vulpix V-Star. And uh, yeah, if you're playing up against a Charizard deck that doesn't have any answers for it, you can just run away with games, which is awesome. Um, having a Collapse, to of course have some prize denial. You can also get rid of your Rotom uh, if you need be. So uh, Unfair Stamp seems to be also a part of the Greninja strategy. This time around, this is a Greninja list playing Neo Energy, allowing you to get two energies instantly. I don't know if that's the best way to go about this because personally it's the same as a DTE in most situations. Um, so I personally am not a fan of that energy. So scratch that Prime Catcher, uh, scratch that for like a Prime Catcher or scratch that for, uh, yeah, maybe you can, you can play whatever you feel like, but I, I'm not too keen on the um, yeah, Neo Energy. Also, if you play Maximum Belt, you can hit with Ninja Blade 220. Also, definitely something to try out. Lost City in here, uh, you still have access to that Turo in there. And the Radiant Alakazam is interesting to move around the damage counters as you Ninja Blade, move around damage counters, Ninja Blade, move around damage counters, and then you can devolve some stuff. Could be pretty interesting to try out. Then another uh, binder drop, as I call it. Stage 2 binder drop, Greninja, Pidgeot, and Charizard, and even a B-Barrel in here, and a Cleffa. Uh, inspired by Tord Reckliff, we have the 1-1 one, one B-Barrel here, and the Cleffa, and the Rotom. But yeah, there's a lot to be taking a look at. I wish we had Pokemon communication in this format because this seems like a deck that could have very awkward opening hands. A couple of Iridas in here and a couple of Arvin, and uh, these can actually fetch up Buddy Buddy Puff. And so, and also has a Torton. Torton can actually swap your basic to whatever you feel like. I don't know if that's going to be <laughs> very good in this list, but it is here regardless. Another list here with Charizard, uh, also playing Radiant Alakazam and Prime Catcher and a Luminous Energy. The Luminous Energy uh, only works incorporated with uh, not no other special energy, so could be used on Charizard, could be used on Radiant, uh, actually on Greninja EX, but not in combination with that DTE. Only one DTE in here. I'm a big fan of like playing two DTEs because sometimes having that raw in hand with manual attachment can get you over the edge with the duplicate barrage attack. An Arceus, of course, Arceus. Pidgeot, Charizard, Greninja, I don't even know what's going on in Japan, but everybody's like uh, playing everything, like they, they, they cannot make up their mind on what is the perfect list, but uh, with Charizard they have more, uh, yeah, uh, widespread across the meta I suppose, Charizard Pidgeot is an established archetype, you're just adding in Greninja in there, I don't know if it's gonna be that powerful, but this also is playing Arceus V-Star, using of course Star Birth, the V-Star power to get any two cards you want, and then get yourself Pidgeot, and Quick Search can also get yourself something, get some, some candies, but it seems that TM Devo is in a lot, in a lot of lists, because stage twos are seemingly a lot of, uh, seeing a lot of play. Uh, another list here playing the Halucha, putting one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, that could... can that help out with something? I don't know. I don't know if that ray of the Halucha is actually pretty useful. You could still collapse it and then use... If the collapse gets reestablished, you can use uh, Super Rod to get Halucha back and get some more stuff. I don't know. Uh, I, I see here. I see here. I see what the uh, big idea is. So you have... Uh, Vitality Bands, and that means uh, the Ninja Blade slaps 180, and with Halucha you put 10 damage on the Rotom, and Rotom V seems to be in a lot of these decks, uh, on Charizard decks and Greninja decks, so Rotom is the main target, Spiritomb even in here to shut down uh, Rotom, so Rotom seems to be everywhere, and it seems also that people are playing the one copy of Eerie, because getting rid of candies is very important, and also TM Devo, if they're out of candies and you can just use TM Devo, you can also run away with games. Um, Greninja Pidgeot, Seems to be more uh, like well-rounded deck with a 4-1 tree line of Greninja, more consistent, two colognes, and Prime Catcher. I'm a big fan of this list. This is something definitely I would try out here with Greninja. 
Then a list playing a 2 2 line of Palkia V Star, a Lost City in there as well, Prime Catcher, and uh, no, uh, yeah, one copy of Cologne and B Barrel. So Palkia B Barrel and Friends. So this is also very cool to test out. I, I love the Irida uh, package because it can actually fetch yourself Greninja, uh, Radiant Greninja for more draw power in the early game. And then Palkia V Star can start portal the energies onto a Frokri, and then you can get, uh, of course, uh, the duplicate barrage off very easily. And a list with Palkia and a Lolan Vulpix V Star. So I don't know if Alolan Vulpix Vsar will be useful because lots of lists are playing Prime Catcher and Balls in the same deck and that's going to cause out some trouble. Also, uh, Vulpix Vstar uh, can actually get one shot, uh, actually get two shot by a lot of threads that do not have abilities. I'm thinking about the fact of uh, the uh, Granger EX itself. So I don't know how, uh, if it's going to be that big of an impact. Depends on if Charizard is still the BDIF. Moving forward. A list with an Iron Valiant EX and a Mew EX in there as well. So lots of uh, yeah, free retreat pivots with a lot of switches in there. Three copies of that. Allowing you to get the additional damage on there. Because um, the uh, Iron Valiant EX gets two damage counters across. And then uh, with Ninja Blade you can get to 190 again. Also one copy of the regular Greninja EX. That's a pretty bad card. I personally would not include that. Although you do hit... Pokemon that are weak to water for water weakness, I suppose. Uh, and you do have a different weakness if you're up against some psychic type decks. There's a Chim Pile list incorporating a 101 line of Granger. I actually really like this. Um, and that situation is that you have a very monstrous uh, Pokemon that can deal with Iron Hands uh, situations going because Turbo Iron Hands is typically very hard, but with the Ninja Blade in there, you actually uh, swing the prizes in your favor once more and uh, that could help out. So there is an incorporated there. You can also use the Cypher Maniacs, the, uh, the Cyphering shenanigans to put two cards on the top, then use the Radiant Greninja to draw them out and poof, the Greninja EX is there. Then a list playing Blastoise when you uh, evolve into Blastoise or I see actually once during your turn you can look at the top six cards or seven cards. I believe that's what the ability is and then accelerate water energy to find there allowing you to get that duplicate barrage off a little bit easier and also can uh, activate the energies onto a Mew EX. So that's pretty interesting for sure. Uh, unique list for sure, playing a high amount of Irida. Then the following list is playing Laws Box. And uh, the Laws Box is playing a 3-0-3 line of the Greninja EX with Cologne, with Counter Catcher. So this in, uh, means that Manaphy is going to get targeted instantly and the two prize cards are inevitable. So that's interesting. You can one-shot stuff with Frenzy Gouging. You can get two prize cards with either your Radiant Greninja or with your uh, yeah, Greninja EX. I don't know if it's better that you just play a very consistent list that just gets uh, Radiant Greninja powered up. I don't know if that's the thing, but a lot of lists are playing Lost City. And the Ninja Blade also can get any card you want. If you're looking for that Roxanne or, or something else or the Unfair Stamp, that is also, uh, yeah, you have to just draw into it otherwise. So that could be interesting, but I could understand the, the Duplicate Barrage on top of Lost Mine. So uh, additional sniping. Here we see a Sable Zard variant, very similar to something we've seen before. And the cool thing is you can actually Mirage Gate onto, uh, Radi actually onto Greninja EX. So you have the power of the late game Radiant Charizard and the sniping capability still with the duplicate barrage of the Greninja EX. Then uh, a classic, pure, very thick line of uh, Greninja EX with a 4-2-3 line and a 2-2 B-barrel. Uh, I think this is actually a very consistent list with 4 DTE. And that is uh, definitely something that I'll also I would try. I would even include a second copy of Cologne to for the upscaling and uh, maybe a TM Devo. TM Devo could also work miracles in a list like this. And the last list we're taking a look at is the Snorax block list, incorporating a 202 line of the Greninja EX. While you have milled out uh, most options from the opponent with Misfortune Sisters or Eerie, you can actually then go on the offensive with a Greninja EX. And Greninja also, uh, you could slap damage, get any card you want, then go for that um, Turo play, get it back in hand and stuff. So there's even ways with Silene to get back rare candy. So an interesting approach to Greninja EX. But as you all can see, a lot of people are playing it with Charizard or with Pidgeot or both. So uh, the cool thing to see here is that stage twos are alive. Hey ho, hey ho. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out in ridiculous ways. You have no idea. And uh, let me know what you feel about Greninja EX. Will it be tier one? Will it be tier 2? Will it be tier 3? I'm very curious to hear, to hear your opinion down below. It's already proven itself worthy in Japan. So we definitely need to get some copies of Greninja EX. I'm going to be making a buy list for Twilight Masquerade very shortly. But uh, yeah, stick around. You're going to be seeing a lot when you subscribe to the channel. 
Also, be sure to check out our sponsors for today's video, dragonshield.com for your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. Use the coupon ZABLUS5 for 5% off. There's yourplaymat.com to create your own unique custom playmat, link down below. And there's uh, potownstore.com for your TCG Live code cards. You can, of course, use the coupon ZABLUSTCG. They have automatic email delivery, so if you need them fast, you can head over to potownstore.com. If you're a European player, definitely head over to cardmarket.com where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day. You guys should check it out as well. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. Greninja EX it seems very, very cool and uh, I'll be making lots of decks with it. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG content. Peace!